everybody. Uh, JG Pastor Jack here from Grassroots Motorsports Magazine. We are live at Lanier Raceway. Uh, I'm just pulling into the staging lane here. So here's what we're doing tonight. Uh, something a little bit different. Of course, anybody who's anybody knows that we are up here at the MIDI this weekend. Uh, that being the classic motorsports MIDI. And uh, actually, let me take off my CRC hat. You know, Grassroots Motorsports Live is now presented by CRC. So let me take off my uh, hat and get my get my bucket hat on. So, iTrack Motorsports is an event, or sorry, is a, is a club here in the Atlanta area, and they do track and drift nights out at Lanier Raceway, and that is where we are right now. In fact, we are um, actually getting ready to go, go out on track here. In fact, let me turn you guys around. I'll turn the air off here. So, this is a, uh, a special deal that iTrack does here at uh, at Lanier Raceway, which is a fully paved oval track right across from Road Atlanta. notice as I'm driving through the pits to recycle here is there is a lot of young people here. This is a much younger crowd than you're normally ever going to see at any any autocross, any um, any track day. And if you have a chance to go to one of these iTrack Motorsports events, you're basically looking at the future of motorsports right here.
skating world without a Miata spinning in front of you, can you? So we'll get around him. Get back into the... If anybody's commenting now, is this like Can't read the comments very well. So I apologize for that. As you can see, I am a little bit busy. set of 15 minute track sessions it's um you know as, as as you can see it's kind of a it's kind of a smaller smaller course um thanks man They do things at the uh, at the old iTrack Motorsports here. We're gonna go ahead and pull off, and then we'll take a little walk around, talk to a few folks, because it's definitely um, it's definitely an interesting crowd. Like I'm um, I come to events like this, and I realize, you know what? I'm I'm old as hell. Um, and that, that's that's okay. I can I can live with that. Um, because
because I come to an event like this and I see that, all right, you know what, motorsports, motorsports has a future. And the future is gonna be young people who still love doing stuff with cool cars and are coming out to these events and having a good time. There's kids out here. Um, there's, you know, like I say, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the oldest dude out here. And, um, and I'm like 47, which, you know, come on, let's face it, it's not that old. So, at least that's what I keep telling my wife. So we'll walk around a little bit, talk to a few folks. First, we'll take a uh, little break and have a beverage. And we're going to talk to, uh, to Matt, Matt Brook, the chairman of the, uh, of the iTrack organization. So here, here's a question for everybody. I've been, and I, here's what I think is going on. I've been having some issues. Let me, uh, my CRC hat's all the way over there. I've been having some issues with the, um, the stability control switching itself back on in, in the Mustang here. To the point where I got the Pro Solo a few weeks ago in Fort Myers. Hang on, pardon my shoulder. My CRC hat is falling all the way over to the other side of the car. The point where at the Pro Solo, I was actually shutting the car off and, and recycling the track control between between runs to make sure that it hadn't hadn't come on. So um, I'd be curious to hear if anybody knows you know what might be up with that because it is super super annoying um so we're gonna we're gonna walk around talk to a few people here uh then we're gonna head back across the street to the midi couple of housekeeping things first off want to mention that grassroots motorsports live all of our live shows um are now brought to you by our good friends at crc so um actually this is uh crc backwards right now because i'm using the selfie camera but um, I'd like to thank our good friends at CRC for, for supporting our show here. Um, second thing is, if you are watching this and you are anywhere in the Atlanta area, first off, if you can get out to Lanier Speedway tonight, they're going to be doing this till about 10 o'clock tonight. Um, it is, I mean, you'll see in a minute, there's a ton of spectators here. There's a ton of people walking around um, and, and hanging out and having a good time. Like there's... There's there's there, there's more people than you're ever gonna see here. You know, see an auto, an autocross certainly. Um, oh, my gas light's going off now too. So uh, yeah, hey, th thanks for the uh, st steer angle sensor, your auto sensor. Mark says the ABS sensor might be going bad. I think so. We're on a as you saw when we were out there, we're on a an oval course, and there's a lot of really hard transitions, and there's a lot of really really hard transitions. That the car is hitting really hard, really shaking things up. So. I, I'm, I'm not surprised that we were we were hitting some some stuff that might have been really kind of pissing the car off. Um, so I'm not going to panic too bad. Uh, just know that if I'm out at a at a regular autocross, if I'm doing back to back runs, it it, it it's cropped up before. So you know, how often do you do back to back runs without shutting the car off? Um, so yeah, uh, we're, we're going to take the camera down here and, and go go bumble around a little bit, and meet some people. And show you guys what's going on. So here's here's the way they do these events with iTrack. They've got um, they have like three or actually six different groups. They have advanced, intermediate, and um, and novice groups. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze in a second. So they have advanced, intermediate, and novice groups for both track and drift. And then you've got a track group, which is what we were out there doing, just you know basically driving um, you know, grip style. I, I, I guess the young people call it. And then they have uh, drift groups, and some of the drift guys in the intermediate and advanced groups are pretty friggin' good, man. Like, like the, the, these guys are not screwing around. This is the real deal. I mean, there's a. What do you see? Some of the cars that are here, they're they're really really cool. Um, so yeah, if if you're in the Atlanta area and and you're on this side of town and can come out here tonight to Lanier, by all means, uh, come out and check it out. Because if you're an enthusiast. Boy, this is the future we're looking at, you guys. Like, this is a drop-in event. This is this is a very sort of family event. Even though everybody here is kind of young, it it just has this really cool sort of family atmosphere. And um, if you're around this weekend at all, 
come out right across the street at Road Atlanta is the classic motorsports MIDI. Uh, biggest vintage race in the Southeast, uh, the HSR MIDI, uh, presented by Haggerty Insurance and Grassroots Motorsports and Classic Motorsports take over the entire infield. It is like a giant Grassroots Motorsports family reunion. We got all kinds of cool car corrals. Uh, we got a free autocross uh, from BFG, their cars, their tires, up at the Turn 7 auto autocross course. You can go out there and autocross for free on a couple different um, different models of BFG tire. Sunday, if you're on property, you can enter the Grassroots Motorsports Skid Pad Challenge. We take over the Turn 7 Skid Pad and let you loose out there and highest G wins. And it, it's that simple. So, let me, uh, let me get things shut down here and we will go for a little walk and show you guys some of the, uh, the really cool stuff here at the iTrack Motorsports event. Uh, see, I don't want to turn the car off because then the air conditioning will go off. But I must do that. Okay, I'm going to take the phone down for a second. So you guys are going to be looking at, um, at the, the roof of the car. We're going to put it in our little uh, handheld um, dealie. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you.